Hey guys, it's Jang here from the Friendly Forums at UltimateRC.com and today I am speaking about toy class RCs. About what now? Toy class RCs? Toy class RCs. You're talking about toys. These things are toys. You realize these are toys. These toy class RCs are toys. They're not real RCs, they're toys. And why would you waste your money on toy class RCs when you can buy a real RC? Why would anybody buy a toy class RC when you can buy a real RC? Boy, are you out of your god dang mind? Instead of spending your money on all of this crap, you should be getting a brushless lipo powered short course truck or a, something like a brushless lipo powered eighth scale buggy. A real RC car, not this crap. What 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 is what is this crap right here? What what is what is what is it? This is a toy. This it's not a real RC, it's a toy. How, how much did this cost? How much did this cost? Uh, it was like 12, 13 bucks. $13? $13 you spent on this crap. For just a couple dollars more, I could get a Traxxas Nitro 4 Tech. 70 miles an hour out of the box. 70 miles an hour out of the box. Nitro 4 Tech. Nitro 4 Tech. 70 miles an hour out of the box for just a couple more dollars in this crap. You, what are you gonna do with this crap? You're gonna throw it away. That's what you're gonna do with it. I wouldn't even buy that for my five-year-old nephew. And what, 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 what about this crap here? What, what, what is this? This is, this is a toy. It's, it's a toy. This isn't a real RC car. This is a toy. You can't use the, it. it doesn't, you can't do anything with this. I wouldn't give this to my three-year-old nephew. How, how much did this cost? About 35 bucks, batteries included. $35 for this crap, for this toy. For just a couple dollars more, you could buy a Traxxas Summit. A Traxxas <laughs> Summit. And it'll go over all kinds of terrain. It'll do stuff that this crap couldn't even dream of. You can't even drive this. This wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't buy this for my two-year-old nephew. You know what I would buy him though? I would buy him an Axial XR10 crawler. A competition 2.2 inch crawler that you can take up to national level competition and whoop some. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. You know what I mean. Not with this crap. You can't take this crap to national competition. You All you can do with this is throw it in the garbage can. It's garbage. It's a toy. Boy, you're out of your god dang mind. Why am I even here? You know what? Forget to take this microphone off of here. I'm done. wasting my god dang time. Well... That wasn't actually much of a surprise for me because that's pretty much the uh, response that I get from uh, quite a lot of hobby class uh, RC enthusiasts. Uh, there's quite, really a lot of elitism, unfortunately, in the hobby, especially amongst uh, younger folks. It's just a fact of the way that it is. Uh, here's the way that I see it. This is an associated RC8 buggy powered by an ungodly sized uh, brushless electric motor and a four cell lipo pack. This thing is serious, this thing is expensive, it's a missile, you can compete with it at a very high level. It's a true hobby grade RC obviously, it's incredible. That is a toy to me. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Quoted for effect, this is a toy. It's not a real car. I can't get down inside of there and, and strap myself in with a five-point harness and steer this thing. I can't drive it anywhere. It exists exclusively for the purposes of entertainment. It is for fun. Whether I'm racing for it, racing with it seriously, or I'm just putting around uh, in the street out in front of my house, this is a toy. There's nothing real about it. It's a model car. 
This is a Kyosho Ultima SCR, also brushless powered, also LiPo powered right now. It is top of the line. It's got carbon molded parts and aluminum and threaded shocks and anodized this and whatnot. Everything's lightened out. It's probably the top of the line when it comes to short course competition racing short course trucks. This is a toy. This is not a real car. It is every bit as much in my in my mind and to my eye, it's every bit as much a toy as this $35 New Bright. The difference between a hobby grade RC and a toy grade RC, well, there's quite a bit of difference in the build quality, in the cost, of course, the maximum speed that they'll go, the handling that you'll get out of them. But it's not all black and white. There are some high quality, uh, hobby grade based uh, RCs being sold in the toy aisle. But even putting that aside, they're all just models. Whether you're a kid or you're a full grown adult, if you're messing around with an RC, no matter how much it costs or how little it costs, you're playing with a toy. Get over yourself. Don't take it too seriously. It's all toys. These just happen to be cheaper ones and they also happen to be the most popular ones. Toy class RCs outsell hobby grade RCs by a huge amount every year consistently. And there's a very simple reason for that, actually. There are two reasons for that. For one thing, this right here costs 12 or 13 bucks, and it is great for kids. And guess what? There are a lot of kids out there, and there are a lot of parents who don't know anything about Hobby Great RC, and that's perfectly fine because for $13, they can get something that will make, the, that will make their kid or somebody else's kid or a relative or friend very, 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 very happy for the holidays and for quite a long time. This is a durable vehicle. It's fast and it's agile for its size. And like I said, 13 bucks. You're not going to get a hobby grade RC car for 13 bucks. This new bright mudslinger in 1 14th scale, like I say, costs about 35 bucks and it's available on the market right now. And uh, it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery pack. No, it's not a matched pack, but it's a nickel metal hydride. Comes pre-installed. It'll last for quite a long time. Comes with a charger for it. Comes even with the, the AA batteries that are needed for the, the transmitter for it. Everything that you need right there in one package, 35 bucks. And it's great for a little kid, which is exactly what these are meant for. The same people who are going to be buying one of these are not going to be buying a $200 or $300 or $400 or $1,000 RC car for their four-year-old kid. It just, first of all, doesn't make sense to hand something that has that much power to a kid, especially we're talking about, you know, this is the holidays and a lot of places are snowed in. A lot of places, kids are not going to be out in the streets driving their RCs around. They're going to be inside and you don't need a car that goes 70 miles an hour in order to have fun driving around inside. You don't have to need a car that that goes 70 miles an hour to have fun in the backyard. It's a completely different mindset between folks who take RCing way too seriously and think that the only way to uh, really do it right is to have the maximum speed possible and put the maximum amount of money into it possible versus folks who are in kids especially who just like to have fun you know playing with toys and they actually realize that these things are toys. So cost is one big reason why toys like these outsell the hobby class ones uh, by a large margin. The other thing is that these are sold in places where people actually go every day by the millions. This right here, I believe I bought from Target. This I got from Toys R Us. You can find uh, vehicles just like this at Walmart. Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, Kmart. These are places, these are the top retailers period of any kind in the United States. And there are ones like it all, the, all around the world. And that's where people go. And the people who, who frequent these stores, most of them don't even know that hobby grade RCing exists whatsoever. And that, 
that can be considered a good thing, that can be considered a bad thing. It can be considered a bad thing uh, for us folks who are really deep into the hobby and you know want to get the word out more. It would be great to have more publicity and more visibility to the real hobby end of toy remote controlled uh, vehicles. But it's just not there and there's plenty of exposure to the toy class RCs through major retailers everywhere in Radio Shack or whatnot. So there you go. Two big reasons why toy class RC is big. It has been for decades and hopefully it will continue to be for quite some time. Now I happen to have these vehicles here because I test them for rcmania.com. If you haven't seen rcmania.com, it's a site that is wholly owned and operated by me and it's full of just reviews of toy grade RCs. And I, I give these vehicles respect because I believe that they deserve respect just like any other product on the market. And I get parents and grandparents and relatives all the time coming through viewing my reviews and viewing the the videos that i put up of these things and you know they're looking to find out what is the best vehicle for their kid or oftentimes it's the kids themselves coming through trying to figure out you know what to ask their parents for so i actually do these reviews and and put some serious time and thought into them and also often get help from uh, from friends to test these out and put them in occasionally put them in the hands of actual kids and look at them from the perspective of who they are built for they're not built for adults though a lot of them uh, will make a lot of adults happy especially uh, in recent years there have been a lot of aircraft that have come out in the in the non hobby grade space uh, air hogs uh, is a brand of the Spin Master Company. They started importing quite uh, some years ago. They started importing the silver lit uh, helicopters, the little miniature helicopters, for like twenty or thirty bucks retail. And those just bring tremendous amounts of joy, especially for the amount of, of cost that goes into them and, and the, the very little maintenance that's required, if any to keep them going and to this day the companies who produce these low-end low-grade toy class uh, aircraft have just continued to up their game nowadays you don't need to spend a hundred two hundred dollars on a hobby grade micro RC you can spend 30 bucks and get one that flies great that flies absolutely marvelously indoors and very stable gyro stabilized three channel you have control in all directions you don't have to spend tremendous amounts of money to have fun playing with toys whether you call them toys or you call them serious hobby grade rcs they're all just models and they're all just here to have fun and if you ask me they all deserve respect and nobody should ever be put down or looked down upon or be insulted or taunted for playing with a toy grade RC just because it costs less than 100 or 200 or 300 or a thousand dollars. So for the folks who are interested in toy grade RCs or who have kids or who have relatives who have kids and you have an interest in finding out what's actually out there, what's available, what's good and what's not because no not all of them are good quality a lot there's a lot of crap out there in the in the toy market it's like there's a fair amount of crap in the hobby grade market too if you want to know more about it check out rcmania.com that's my site it's pretty much the only game in town in the world uh, that's dedicated to giving respectful full detailed in-depth reviews of toy grade rcs both in land vehicles in aircraft and occasionally i put up a, a a boat uh, not so many people are interested in, in the boats unfortunately the videos are up there you can actually see these things in action and try to think of it from the perspective of who these are built for and think about it in just is just as a fun thing which is exactly what it is don't take it too seriously whether it's hobby grade or toy grade it's all RC it's all fun you should enjoy it all that's it for now I'll talk to you again soon